Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and this is my rusty, dusty, and crusty old John Deere hay wagon that I'm restoring. So far, the only thing I've done is clean up, repaint the wheels, put new tires on it, and I removed the old wood. Now, I need to remove all the rust or find a way to paint over the rust, and there are products out there for both. I've already done some manual rust removal, and everything I've tried has worked, but it's too time consuming and too messy for me to do this entire project that way. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right here is an area that I did with a portable sandblaster. It works phenomenally well. We're down to clean raw metal, and it would work great except that that type of a sandblaster would make a tremendous mess in my shop and be very time consuming. And here is an area, and also up here, where I tried to use different wire wheels and flap disc on a grinder and things like that. And all of it just feels like it'd be too time consuming. So the two alternatives I'm looking at now is chemical rust removals and products that are made to paint over rust. And we're going to test a couple of those out in this video. In the past, I've got some suggestions saying that I should just take the whole thing to, the, to a company that does sandblasting. And that is an option, but I want to learn as much as I can to do as much as I can myself. And I, I almost, after this step, I almost stopped and said, I'm just going to pay someone to sandblast it. Then I thought, I've got my son's Jeep that needs the same kind of process. I've got my old 1941 John Deere tractor, and I'm not going to have everything sandblasted. So I need to learn the best ways to deal with rusty old equipment. So the first product we're going to test is Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. This isn't sponsored. I don't have any affiliation with them. Just a product I picked up at Home Depot for 12 bucks. And then after buying this, I watched a whole bunch of videos about rust removal products. And they say mainly you want one that has a primary active ingredient of phosphoric acid. And that's the case with this. I think it was $12 for a bottle of it. And whether or not this is a good idea depends on how much of it you have to use and how time consuming it is. We'll test it on this spot right here. First step is knock off loose rust with a wire brush. Now our second test is going to be painting the surface exactly the way it is. With the rust dissolver, the first thing you're supposed to do is wet the area down. At no point do you want to let this dry. Then it says to spray this liberally on the surface. Comes out kind of like a gel. And the instructions say, continue to apply as needed to maintain a wet surface until the rust is dissolved. Do not allow the product to dry on the surface. Light to medium rust will be dissolved in 10 to 30 minutes or even less while heavier deposits may require additional applications. Then once the rust is dissolved, rinse with water and wipe the surface clean. So I guess we'll give this 10 to 30 minutes and check back in. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes and I didn't have any problem with this drying out. I did reapply once and I've brushed it just a little bit. Now I'm supposed to rinse this off. Definitely removed a layer of rust. It by no means took it down to bare metal, but from the other videos I've seen on this product and what I just saw there, I think this is definitely something you want to keep in your shop because this $12 bottle would last forever. I mean, I, I just used a tiny little bit of it on there. So I think it's a good product. 
I don't know if it's going to be my answer for the whole hay wagon, though. For that, I'm going to try Pour 15. Let's move over to another spot and try that out. When I was doing my grinding and the sandblasting on this, I got a bunch of messages telling me to use special paint that is made to go over rust. And when I googled that, I found a bunch of different brands that worked in different ways. I've also had a bunch of people send me private messages saying, try this product, try that product. One day I just went over to O'Reilly's where they have a dedicated paint center and the guys seem really knowledgeable. They said, how may I help you? I said, well, I want to paint something that's old and rusty. And they said, use this product here. It's called POR15, P-O-R-15. Paint directly over rust. Seals rust permanently, professional use. No need to remove rust before applying, lead free, for metal substrates only. So, I picked up two cans of this. These are quart jars. A quart of it is $51, so you're not playing around with this stuff. And also, from the videos I've seen, this stuff's really thick. They describe it as self-leveling, like it'll smooth out the brush strokes on its own, which means it's really thick, which means a quart won't go very far. So it's not a cheap option, but compared to the prospect of removing every bit of rust on this, it becomes a little bit cheaper. I'm going to go ahead and brush this off a little bit, just trying to knock any big flaky rust off or dirt. Oh, when I go to do this, after I've done my test and let it dry and looked at it, first thing I'm going to do is take this thing out and power wash the whole thing. Then I'm going to bring it back in here and then do whatever surface prep and then the painting. All right, now we got some mineral spirits here. Now I'll let that dry. I don't know how well you can see it, but that really took a lot of that loose stuff off. So most likely I should have been wearing gloves the whole time I've been working on this. A lot of times I honestly don't even think about it. I've just never worn gloves. I'm trying to do a better job of that. Everything I've seen on this product is that you really have to wear gloves. It's like Getting it on you, it's like a roofing tar in a few minutes, and you're just not getting it off. So I looked it up, and it specifically says that you don't want to shake this, you just stir it. So we'll do that real quick. You can spray this on, but then you have to thin it, and I don't have that solvent that they recommend for thinning. So as I was prepping to do this, I asked a good friend of mine from the Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead YouTube channel if he'd ever used this. He says, yeah, he's used it a bunch of times. He has restored some old cars with it and says this is an amazing product. When you paint this on, not only will the rust be gone, it's not just hidden. This uses moisture to dry itself, so it sucks the moisture out of the rust, basically. But he said on top of that, the coating you get from this is just rock hard and about as permanent as, as you can get with a paint. So he basically said he couldn't recommend this any higher. All right, so we've got a coat on this side that where we use the rust remover. Let's do the other side. All right, so now we just got to let that dry. Go ahead and clean up the brush. I'll be back in a minute. As I've been waiting on each step of this, I've been watching more videos about this POR15, and everything I can see sounds like it's a great product, and all you have to do is remove the excess and surface rust. I think that Rust-Oleum Rust Remover, a Rust Dissolver, is a good product, but I don't think it's needed for this. A couple things I have learned. Number one, Paint thinner and mineral spirits will not clean this off of a brush. I just had to throw that away off that brush away because I don't have anything that would clean it. So I'll get something, read up on it, whether you have to buy their solvent or if acetone or if anything else will clean that off of the brush. Or maybe 
the brush doesn't matter that much when you're spending $51 a quart on the paint. But anyway, that's one thing I learned. Another is you have to do two coats. It takes two to six hours to dry, and I don't want to keep the shop heated all night. So I'm only going to do one coat tonight. Probably the next step is to power wash the whole thing, and then we're going to just knock this all out in one night. Anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.